Hello everybody, Jochen Haydn here and today I'm going to be talking about a requested topic and that is War in the Pacific Tracker. Um, this is an absolute must application tool for anybody who wants to keep track of what's going on in their War in the Pacific campaign. Um, this is a third party program made by a gentleman named Floyd and Damien and I'm going to point you in the direction of where you can get information for this. Everything I'm talking about today is stuff that's readily available online, but I know that some people like videos to learn stuff, so I'm just going to go over that. Um, this is going to be a three-part tutorial. Part one is going to be installation. Part two is going to be setup and getting the thing to run. And part three is going to be all the functionality in it and all the different screens and how to use them, how to read them. That'll be the longest part because this thing has a lot of information in it. But let's start. Uh, if you're playing this game and you are not on the Matrix forums, you need to get on it right now because there is a wealth of information and there are tons of people who are very good at this game and have been playing it for 10, 15 years that can answer more questions than I can ever hope to. But we're going to start here on the main Warner Pacific Admirals Edition forum. You'll notice here we have a forum post called Warner Pacific Tracker AE Release 1.11. It has over 6,000 replies. This thing has been around since 2009, and there is a wealth of information in here. But let's just take a look at it. So this is the forum post that talks about it. So let's get started. If this is something you want to get into, this is where you're going to go. This is Ground Zero. And you'll notice on the very first page we have a link. So we're going to go ahead and download this thing. I'm going to go through this from scratch. So let's go ahead and open this link in a new tab. It, this, this thing's got its own website, okay, which is also chock full of information. So whatever I omit or don't cover is probably here. That being said, let's go down to releases, and you'll notice that the most current release available is from May 1st, 2021. That's 1.11. That's the version that I'm using right now. So this is what we're going to uh, be starting today. So, and there's also some information about uh, releases in here, previous bug fixes, all that stuff. And at the top here is the file that you're going to download. So we're going to click on that. Whatever web browser you want, Download it as as necessary. I use Firefox on my computer. You may use something else. So we'll let that download. So this is what I recommend you do when you get this. Take the file, drop it on your desktop. Okay? So, oh, what's that? Okay. So once you have the file, I recommend you extract it. Right where it's at. I use Win RAR to extract all these files and things like that. It's another free to use program. Use whatever file program you want to do this. I also I always recommend Win RAR. So we're just gonna let it go to the desktop, your standard location. It should create its own folder. All right. Then I just toss that in the trash, and now we have the folder. This is the Warren Pacific tracker, and this is what you need right here. You should see all these files when you start. So the two main ways to launch this are with these two batch files. There's one that has no map in it, and there's one that has a map in it. I use the one with the map, even though I don't use the map. You can use the no map. Okay, so at this point, this is what you should see when the game is, uh, correction, the software is installed. So one of two things is going to happen. It's either going to launch or it's not. Uh, if it launches, great. If it doesn't, I think I know why, because this is a problem I had when I was trying to get this to work. So let's try to run this right now. I get this error that says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command. So basically that's telling me I don't have Java runtime environment installed on my computer. And I don't know why I don't, but I don't. And I suspect a lot of you guys might be in the same boat. So the designers of this tracker knew that and they have a help page here about uh, setting up and support about Java not being found and they recommend Java 6. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now you don't need Java 6. You need any 32-bit version of Java. 
So I've tested this already. I'm going to show you again, but don't bother with six. You can get the latest one as long as it's a 32 bit. So I'll show you how we do that. So you're just going to go up to your search bar. And you're going to type in Java runtime environment. Click on the top link. And you're going to want the one that is not 64 bit. So this one up here. All right. So I'm going to click on Windows online. I'll let that download. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to let it install. It's going to run its dialog. Um, you can install it in other places. I don't recommend it. Let it go where it wants to go because Tracker already points to the default uh, directory of where Java should be installed if you just let it install unopposed. So I'm going to let it do that. It's going to tell you it's been installed. And now let's try to launch the tracker again. Okay, so now we have a different error. It says initializing. It doesn't say anything about Java, but now it says we have an issue with our save game file. So that's okay because in the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to get this configured to launch for your game. So this is what you want to see at this point. This is going to tell you that your... Uh, software is running correctly that if it mentions a save game file that means that it's passed the check for Java and now it just needs to uh, get some more information that we will discuss later on so that's it for installing uh, the tracker again I highly recommend you use their website okay because there's all kinds of great information here a lot of this is kind of not necessary if you're doing uh, default stuff with um, installations and, and all that. Uh, and then also, I highly recommend, if you're not, getting on the forums for War in the Pacific because there is just so much information there, particularly as it pertains to the tracker. I will do my best to explain how this thing works, uh, but there may be information in this 6,000 reply thread about this that might be more helpful to you than I am. Uh, that being said, if you have any questions about installing this software, the Java, if you did everything I showed you and it still doesn't work, please leave a comment and I will find an answer for you one way or the other. Uh, this Java stuff can be tricky. So if my instructions don't work for you, let's talk about it. Let me um, help you figure it out. But long story short, the next video I'm going to do is how to get this configured to actually start reading information from your game. So that's all I got. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for part two.